Hey, okay, so today our lab video is going to cover basically uh, lymphatics and immunity. Uh, some people think of these as two separate systems, uh, but they also kind of work together. So I'm going to show you first the lymph vessels and lymph nodes. So if you uh, remember from your lecture, the lymph vessels work uh, in conjunction with the uh, blood system. So this is going to take fluids that are out in your tissues back to the circulation so that it can go back into your blood circulation. So let's show you where these lymph uh, nodes and vessels are. One thing I want you to pay attention, uh, these little things here, if you can look down in this model, these green things are your lymph vessels. And the way we're going to name them basically is on their location. So if you were to see this on a test, you would say, okay, these are your femoral uh, uh, lymph vessels, okay? These little dots that you see, these are the actual lymph nodes. So the lymph is going to travel up the vessel into the node and then continue on up toward uh, your veins and then eventually into the heart. So on this model, you can also see some lymph vessels in this neck region. So these would be your cervical lymph nodes. Um, on another model, just to show you for comparison, uh, you may have this model that you are tested on. The lymph vessels aren't green, they're more of this kind of peachy color. Again, these are the lymph vessels, these are the lymph nodes in the, uh, in the uh, thigh region. And underneath the arm, the axillary region, you also have some lymph uh, vessels and lymph nodes. So when you're naming these, these would be the lymph vessels in the axillary region, or if they're in the neck, the cervical region, or in your uh, femoral region. So that's really all you need to know about the lymphatics and the lymph vessels and lymph nodes. Which takes us to your uh, immune organs. And the first ones we're going to show you are your tonsils. And um, there's actually three sets of tonsils. Um, and some people will use the word adenoids. Adenoids is just another type of tonsil. I'm not going to require you to know the three types. But your tonsils, you can see they're in the back of the throat behind the nasopharynx, the back of your throat here. There's also a set kind of at the base of the tongue right here and then right here. So these are your three sets here, here, and here. And they look glandular. So uh, if you've noticed uh, on any other model, you've looked at like salivary glands. Anytime that you see something that looks like a salivary gland, kind of a cottage cheese look, that's going to be some kind of a, a mucosal type of a material. So these are your tonsils here, here, and here. And we have one more model here. And it's not as good because the colors are not, are not different. But they're also located on this one right here in the back of the throat and then here at the base of the tongue. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, but we have these models also in some of our exams, so that way you've seen it on two models. All right, so those are your tonsils. Just be able to recognize tonsils. You don't need to know the particular type. Uh, your next organ is your thymus, and it's going to be located, again, it looks kind of glandular. Uh, uh, this kind of material is going to be over the heart, so it would lie, you know, right here in your chest, right over your heart. Um, this is going to be found in a child or adolescent, so in an adult model you won't see it because it's going to have atrophied or gone away. So look for any kind of glandular looking tissue over the heart. Don't be confused between this, okay, and the thyroid. You imagine the heart is here, the thyroid is going to be above, so don't get these two confused. Thymus, thyroid, alright. And then the last organ is the spleen. And the spleen is going to be located in the abdominal cavity on the back side, on the left side, and it's going to be right behind the pancreas. So this is the spleen in this model, and it's a, this purple uh, organ here. On this model, again, we have several different examples, it's this gray comma-shaped organ right here. Again, on the left side, back wall of the abdominal cavity behind the pancreas. So don't get caught up in learning these organs by their color. Be more uh, concerned with where they are in the body, their location, and their general shape. Okay, that's all. Thank you.